This is Colin O'Keefe for LXBN TV. As part of our ongoing coverage of Legal Tech New York 2012, I am speaking with Chris Pasketch, partner in Forensic Technology Services at KPMG. Uh, starting off, what is changing in e-discovery right now, and what has this done to, to, to the cost of uh, case management? Uh, the biggest change that's been going on, and it's happened for a while, is the volumes of data that are involved with electronic discovery. They just continue to expand. So what's happened is companies have had to change the process, change the approach, and they're using a lot of technologies that can help filter down the data uh, to a much more manageable level. They're using tools that are similar to the things that are used in e uh, email spam filters to filter out irrelevant documents and find the more relevant documents and rank those. And we've tested this uh, technology and we found it's a lot better at finding relevant documents than people are because they get tired and bored and distracted and the technology is just better at finding more of the relevant docs. So that's the biggest change I think that we're seeing. I see. And can you explain what statistical reporting is and what are the, the pros and cons of this? Yeah, statistical sampling is being used more in electronic discovery, uh, especially when I talked about these uh, technology-assisted tools. You need some way to validate or, or confirm that they're actually doing what they're supposed to do. They're referred to a lot of times as black box technology, and so to be sure that they're working the way that they should be, you can use sampling to confirm that the process is giving you good results. I see. And, and what are some of the concerns with, with this statistical sampling? Well, you mentioned statistical sampling or stat sampling, and there's that old aphorism that comes up, and it's uh, there's lies, damn lies, and statistics. So a lot of people really just don't trust uh, statistics. And so you've got that. It's technically challenging to implement, and you also have the situation that it requires thorough documentation. So what we've been doing is trying to overcome some of those challenges by integrating it in our Discovery Radar application, uh, which is the review platform. So we help the uh, clients figure out what kind of sampling they should be doing. They draw a statistically valid sample, put it into a work area. They run the tests on the sample items, it will record the results, interpret it, and provide the reporting, and then everything is fully documented right in the system. So it makes it a lot easier to use, which we think is going to increase the use of that technology in, in uh, e-discovery. I see. And, and what is KPMG, Forensic Technology uh, Services, what are they doing to, to address those concerns a bit and also adapt to the changes going on in e-discovery right now? Uh, as I mentioned, with, we've integrated the sampling into the software. We've also integrated uh, Equivio Relevance that helps to rank the documents based on the relevance. Uh, you use a subject matter expert to train the system to sort out the relevant and non-relevant. And then you can use the uh, integrated statistical sampling to test that that actually worked the way it's supposed to. And a lot of industries have been using statistical sampling to control processes. A sample by itself probably isn't sufficient uh, to rely on, but if the sample is used to test a process that you believe is a good process and should produce good results, then being able to use uh, the stat sampling to confirm a process they use it in pharmaceuticals, electronics, aviation, industries where it's really critical to know that the systems are producing quality results. So I, we, we think it's, it's a natural for electronic discovery. I see. It'll be very, very interesting to watch. Once again, Chris Pasketch, partner in uh, KPMG Forensic Technology Services. For more video interviews with, with Legal Tech New York presenters, exhibitors, and attendees, be sure to check out lxbn.lexblog.com. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.